Hi everyone, I have here the layer of the temperature measurement stations in the US. It's colored by temperature and you see that the south is hot and the north is colder. But many times this is not enough. We will want to have something like that, a map of colors. That process of taking this and creating one of these is called interpolation and the best interpolation algorithm in uh, QGIS is the inverse distance matrix that's what everyone uses what we'll do is we'll create a raster an array of points every point has a typical temperature that is based on the temperatures measured around it so we will look for the temperatures around us and make something like a, an average of these temperatures where the closer points will have more effect than the distant point. This is the, the point we're interpolating. It will have a temperature more similar to this than to this. So how far we look is det determined by this number. And the smoothing, well, it smooths your map. So let's have a lot of smoothing for now. Now we can define the search radius. And let's look for 5 degrees on the horizontal and 3 degrees on the vertical, or even 2 degrees on the vertical. And we can rotate it, it doesn't have to be like we defined. Um, maximum number of data points, minimum number of data points, no data value. And we have to, to select the field we want to base our interpolation on. It's this layer has a median temperature field or column. And uh, we can have some more parameters on the creation here. That's, we have that for every raster in QGIS. Let's just give this map a name. It's the temperature map. And let's run it. And that's the output can see those circles and you can see some of the area is not covered so we can change the search distance and maybe have some more smoothing. I go out of the log and put the smoothing on 10, maybe reduce the power a bit and maybe three here and run again it's a bit better but you'll have to play with it till you get to good results and actually this screencast is done thank